So I've been using FME for a, a fair while. And um, one thing that people like to ask me is what my favorite transformer is. Um, I used to say Workspace Runner quite yep. a lot, but more recently, HTTP Caller is, is top of the list. Uh, and Oliver, I know that um, you've been doing quite a bit of work with uh, embedding the HTTP Caller in a, in a custom tool. Yep. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, sure. So uh, I came in across, I guess, with everybody along uh, the, the big buzz around uh, ChatGPT. So this is a, a new AI tool that um, has kind of uh, come to the world since I think December last year. And it's a really uh, fantastic tool uh, that enables you to ask uh, uh, questions in kind of just normal natural language. And it basically returns back uh, answers and uh, responses uh, to those questions. And it can do so in a range of different forms. And you may be surprised to know that it can actually do so in um, in a, a return back some spatial context as well. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a, a, a detailed description as, to, or a description as to how that looks. Now in terms of uh, the regular kind of chat GPT interface, it's obviously browser driven. Uh, you can ask it a question like this. So give me the uh, long and lat um, and a WKT format or well-known text format. Uh, in this case for the center of um, or center point for London Bridge Station. And then when you run the, um, the call, it actually basically returns back uh, the data in um, WKT with a lat long point. Now that's uh, all, all well, very good, uh, well and good, but it's actually really nice to be able to kind of see that on a, on a map. Um, and so I built a little uh, FME uh, server app uh, to do just that. Uh, Dave, could you give a little bit of a, a description as to what an FME server app is? Yeah, sure. I mean, in FME Desktop, um, when you build a workspace, uh, you can parameterize it. Yep. Um, and parameters allow you to have control over how that workspace runs. Um, and if you publish that workspace to FME Server and um, you can schedule it and you can have access to the parameters in the, in the server interface there. Yep. But yeah, the, the, the web apps are superb to allow you to have a a branded experience and to control access just to that specific capability. Yeah. Um, so, you know, publishing as a web app gives you the ability to, as we've done here, put a, a simple logo and color scheme to the application yeah. uh, and ask sensible questions and have uh, appropriate drop downs um, and a nice OK button to, to get it to, to kick into gear. Exactly. And so yeah, here we've got kind of three parameters. One's the, the input text, which again is asking for that center point for London Bridge, uh, then my email address and if I'm OK to be contacted. And then pressing that uh, OK button effectively goes out, uh, runs a particular, uh, runs the workspace that goes out and calls uh, the open API, open AI API, and uh, uh, it does so by using that HTTP caller. And as you can see, the map that gets returned uh, conveniently is located uh, in uh, London Bridge Station, uh, which is a really nice uh, way of kind of just visualizing the output and showing you potentially the power of where you can go with um, uh, with uh, using OpenAI through the HTTP uh, caller. Now, in addition to this, we uh, have created a couple of uh, custom uh, transformers that we've put up onto the FME hub. Um, uh, you can reach the FME hub by going to uh, hub.safe.com. Uh, if you search for tensing, uh, you'll come across a couple of our different transformers. Uh, but Dave, if you can give me a little bit of a, a detail as to what the FME Hub is uh, and is used for, that would be great. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically the, the app store for FME. So um, uh, there are different types of publishers. Safe Software themselves are a, a significant publisher on the, on the hub, but it's a community um, environment where you can build your own custom transformer uh, in FME Desktop. Uh, you can create an account with um, uh, the Safe community and publish your yep. uh, your your workspace in a uh, container that is a custom transformer and, and make it available. And um, if you want to learn more about custom transformers, our uh, advanced uh, FME Desktop training class focuses on on custom transformers for a, a whole module. So spot on. So yeah, and how does it actually look when it uh, goes inside uh, inside a workspace? So what we have here is um, 
uh, a case of using one of those uh, trans uh, tra custom transformers from the hub. That's the OpenAI Chat GPT text snappy summarizer. Name. It's a very snappy <laughs> name. It is, yeah. Um, now, obviously, you can get uh, this by downloading it through the uh, through the web page uh, directly uh, and adding it in. Or alternatively, you can simply just start typing, and you will find it in the FME Hub Transformers listing. Once added, all you really need to do is tell it which parameter you're passing uh, the text uh, that you would like to be summarized in. Uh, you choose uh, the GPT model, uh, but that's chosen by default, so no need to worry about that. Um, and the OpenAI uh, API key, which you need to uh, go to the OpenAI uh, um, uh, website to access, uh, and you get some, some free credits to spend. Now with this, what I've done is I've passed in uh, a little bit of uh, text to describe um, or that, that talks about uh, FME and uh, runs it through the summary. In this case, it gives me kind of a snappy couple of paragraphs uh, talking about uh, FME as well as some of the keywords that are featured within the text and also um, the location. It's from that text, it's worked out that uh, safe software is, is housed in, uh, in Vancouver. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty scary how, um, how powerful this is and I'm sure you can probably think of a range of, of uses for it. The other transformer, just while we're talking about those, is the um, PDF summarizer. So instead of having to maybe extract the, uh, the text from the PDF, which of course you can do uh, in FME as well, this one simply enables you to uh, point to a PDF, put in the open API key, uh, run Go, and you get exactly the same type of outputs. So hopefully that gives you uh, some ideas as to how this can be, can be used more broadly in some of your workflows. Yeah. And do, do we have to um, pay for the access to the to the system? Is the um, the OpenAI um, tool is it is it credit based or do you? Yeah. So every call you make uh, is based on the amount of uh, text you put in to to summarise. But it is actually very reasonable. Uh, you start off with I think it's five dollars of free credit, and then that will give you plenty of, uh, of time to spend uh, doing summaries before you uh, maybe commit to spending a little bit more, but it's, it's literally um, a, few, a few cents every, uh, every run at, at the very most. Great. So yeah, I hope you uh, have the opportunity to have a play around with these two, uh, two hub transformers. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to know a little bit more about how we've, how we've created these, then feel free to get in touch with us. Great. Thanks, Oliver. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers.